CBS 46 anchor Scott Light has been traveling with a national, international, and Atlanta icon during his trip for the 100th election the Carter Center has observed. And it's a fourth one in the South American country of Guyana. In their last presidential election, 73% of registered voters turned out. To give you some perspective, here in our country, the re-election of President Obama saw a 58% turnout. A few hours ago, Scott filed this breaking news report on CBS46.com. I want to alert you to a major development in President Carter's plans to observe the elections here Monday in Guyana. That is not going to happen. Now, I've got a statement here from the Carter Center. It is very, very brief, and it says this. President Carter was not feeling well and will depart Guyana to return to Atlanta today. Now, we will also be on that flight with him as well. We are going to be leaving the Pegasus Hotel later on this morning. We are traveling in the motorcade to the Georgetown Airport, and there we will all be getting on that charter flight. The president did talk to us coming down, and we are certainly hopeful that he will join us uh, there in the plane and tell us what is going on. But again, all we know at this point, I'll read it again, a very brief statement. President Carter was not feeling well and will depart Guyana to return to Atlanta today. Again, we are the only TV crew, whether it's local or national, traveling with the president. Even though President Carter won't be in the country for the Monday elections, in the Carter Center statement, the effort to have free and fair elections in Guyana will go on. It reads, the Carter Center election observation mission in Guyana is continuing its work and will keep him informed of developments. President Carter is hopeful about Guyana's election and expressed his commitment and that of the Carter Center to supporting Guyana in the days ahead, stressing the need for a peaceful process before, during, and after the election.